Welcome back to No Nonsense Airbnb. In this video, I will show you how you can block dates on your calendar and change prices for the dates. Try and do this from a computer because it's not so easy to do it from the phone app. Once you're logged into Airbnb, just hover over to the top right section where you will see switch to hosting. That will take you to your hosting dashboard and then click on listings, which is in the middle of the top screen. And then you need to click on the listing which you want to do this on. That will open up the listings page. Now, to be able to block the dates or change prices, you need to go into the calendar view. For that, you need to click on the calendar in the top menu and then click on the listing name, which you will see here on the left hand side. That will open up the calendar and towards the right, you will see all the pricing related and availability related settings. Now, if you want to block some dates in this calendar, you will need to choose those dates which you want to block. If you want to select multiple dates, you just hold the shift button on your keyboard and keep selecting the dates and once you've made the selection on the right hand side you will see this block nights option just click on that and that will block those dates which you have selected similarly if you want to open these dates again you can just click on this open nights option and that will open up the dates for you an indication whether the nights are open or closed is when they are closed you will see the numbers striked off but when you open the numbers flip back to normal this is how you can block or unblock block any date in your calendar. At the same time, if you want to alter the price of certain nights, you just need to choose the dates the same way. And then you can just click on this per night option. As soon as you click on it, it will become editable. And then you can simply type in the price which you want to set and just click on save. Alternatively, if you want to turn on or off the smart pricing, you can do so by clicking on this option. If you don't know what smart pricing is, I will leave a link to my previous video where I have explained how smart pricing works and how you can use it to your advantage. I hope you find this video useful. Please do like and subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment if you would like me to make a video about something which is troubling you. Until next time, bye-bye.